I shall not No. Pay. Here's what would have happened, Gary. Hold on. Well, here's an industry secret. As the first, hold on. This is your last stream, sir. Buying your friendship. I want to be very clear with how Gary does these things, right? Get Gary invited him to some record stores. Gary out here coming like he just like unloaded his entire life's savings on some house project or something. Because he was like rickety old man about it. He's like, oh, Alex. He's like, I, I would love to come record shopping with you, but I just don't know what I can afford anymore. <laughs> so, so we go to a record store, and he's out there. He, he, he finds like three records. Each of them is like $6. And, and, and he's like, oh, boy, so I got to put two back, you know? <laughs> I just can't do it. I'm sitting here, I was like, do well, I gotta buy this guy's fucking dinner? Like, I was like, I don't know if this man can eat. So then, of course, we go get pizza and beers. And he's like, he's sitting there, like, I was like, why would you split the whole thing? He's like, split the thing? I mean, you ate more pizza than I did. I'm like, I'm like, this man is pitching. He's pitching. And I don't know Gary that well. So I'm like, man, you know, like, I'm like looking at his, you know, the tires on his cars. I was like, I know. So I'm Gary, this is Physical Format Rock and Roll. And why was that funny? Because it's kind of true. That's why I'm a bit of a cheap ass sometimes. Uh, first, let me say cheers. Getting ready for my uh, trip out to the east there to see our buddy Mike. He's got the big party going on. So I'm drinking some Narragansett. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. Regardless, it tastes like New England. So, this vinyl finds is a little different than some of the vinyl finds you'll see. Like, this is not going to be like a vinyl finds from Mr. Hall of Fame, who everything is pristine. It's not going to be anything fancy like Josh from the flip side. It won't even be as nice as the things that you see Steve from all the world's a stage getting in the mail. No, these are all cheap records. Everything I will show in this video, all added together, was under $20. And this is some stuff I have accumulated uh, because I really haven't been to a record store in a short amount of time, but the last few videos I've done, these are just ones I didn't show. Uh, but I thought I would put them all together in one video. And like I said, all these added up together under $20. Uh, that's one of the things I like to do about digging. Sometimes, you know, you can take a chance on something. You can find some cheap records. And, you know, if it ends up you don't like it, eh, well, you're not out that much. And, uh, you know, the jackets don't have to be perfect for me, but I do want the vinyl to be playable, right? So I do still check out the vinyl, even when it's something cheap. First up, how about this? Share the Land by The Guess Who. This, of course, has the song Share the Land. And uh, what's, the other, what's the other big one on here? Why am I not seeing it? Uh, hand Me Down World. Yeah, Hand Me Down World. There you go. And this record is in very good shape. Uh, this opens up. It's got an interesting picture here. Let me show you that one real quick a little bit. That's on Orange RCA. I don't know how well you'll see it out here, but the record's in great shape. And uh, everything here was a dollar or just maybe a little bit over. And I'll tell you the ones that were maybe over a dollar. Next up, coming up from... When I was still in high school, where's the party with Eddie Money? Uh, if I can find an Eddie Money record that I don't have for a buck that's in good shape, I'm going to pick it up. It's Eddie Money, for God's sakes. Next up. What do we got? Oh, we got a couple from ELP, little Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. This is actually a double record set but when i got it it was still only a buck and you know it's, it's harder and harder to find those kind of deals uh this opens up i don't know about what this is it's called the works and uh 
I am not familiar enough yet with ELP. When I look at uh, the way this thing is set up, I'm thinking this might be like mostly highly instrumental. I mean, a lot of ELP is anyway. But uh, so I don't know. Maybe the, I, I like the fact that the ELP is embossed. We'll see if I like it or not. If I don't, I'm not out anything. But how about this one? I know I'll like this. I actually had this before. I had a nicer, uh, the jacket was better. I sent this off originally for a VCLT, not because I didn't like it, but uh, I sent it to my buddy Chris Brophy. Uh, when I think when I sent him trying to mix up some things to put in there, because I knew eventually I'd, I'd just get myself another copy, and I did. And this one, uh, well, this one opens up tricky. I'm not going to get it out, but uh, the whole brain salad surgery deal. This, of course, has Lucky Man on there. Here's a good one from the 80s. A motels, all for one. I had this one on cassette. Now I have it on vinyl. The purple capital. Look at that. That's in great shape, man. Cheap stuff. I can't pass up on that. Martha Davis. Great vocals. Underrated band, the motels. Next up, the beautiful Rita Coolidge. What's this one called? Love Me Again. I don't know if she's talking to Chris Christopherson, who treated her kind of crappy. Here's the inside of it. Uh, I, you know, Rita Coolidge has a pretty good voice. That's on A&M. Look at that, that's shiny and new. Take a chance on that. Here's another one I wouldn't have got, except that it was cheap. Uh, Donna Summer, The Wanderer. I am not familiar with this. I mean, I remember seeing this album back in the day, but it's in great shape. The album's in good shape. I thought, you know, what the heck? I like some Donna Summer. She's got a pretty good voice. Now here's one I picked up. Uh, I actually had a copy of this, but I had to pick up this Sheena Easton, uh, Private Heaven. I got it. I, I let people like Josh influence me and it had that hype sticker on there for strut and you know still had the shrink wrap on it i said i'm picking that up and the other one i'll i'll give away or whatever so i thought that was kind of cool i picked that one up sheener sheener easton as andy gibb used to call her now here's one which is funny uh my buddy steve from all the world's stage has just shown this album uh when he's doing his super exciting countdown and Jay Giles band, Nightmares. And I said, I don't think I've ever even seen that album. And then lo and behold, I had found it like right after that. And uh, it's on the Yellow Atlantic, really good shape. Has one of my top five, probably three songs of Jay Giles, which is Detroit Breakdown, studio version of that. The studio version of Musta Got Lost is on here too, of course, which does not match up to the live version. How about we go back to Jay Giles with Love Stinks. Yeah, Love Stinks. Uh, you know, I, for a buck, I couldn't pass this down. It's got uh, Comeback is on here also. Um, no Anchovies, please, right? That's a hilarious classic I remember from way back in the day. Till the walls come tumbling down. There's another one. Look at that. Ooh, a custom label. That's in good shape, too. All bargains. Here's one. Uh, I have this album. I have it from way back when. Robert Plant, Pictures at 11, my favorite Robert Plant solo album. And he's got some good ones. Uh, this is the closest he made to another Led Zeppelin album. Uh, I really like this album. And I have this, but uh, I thought I can't pass it up. This was uh, in good shape, of course, on Swan Song. I will either keep this and give away my other, or vice versa. I'll give that to probably one of my sons, unless somebody out there needs the album. And then I went for another Robert Plant. Look at this, uh, Little by Little. So it's got the remix, long version. That's I love that song, Little by Little. It's got Easily Led on here, Rockin' at Midnight, a uh, live version that he did with the Honey Drippers. So I'm very curious who's on guitar on that, because I know that Jeff Beck did a couple songs off there. So did Jimmy Page. I doubt that they're on there. But uh, it also has a song Sixes and Sevens, which uh, those two were my favorite off of that album. Uh, little by Little and Sixes and Sevens were definitely the saving grace of that 
album. And this was just unique. I had to pick it up uh, on Atlantic yeah, for a buck. I mean, gosh. Oh, the uh, Easily Led is also recorded live. So Shaken and Stirred, by the way, was the album, the Robert Plant album that I didn't reference until now. Uh, now here's one that was actually a couple bucks, I think. Got another one from the Ohio Players, Contradiction. Uh, the Ohio Players, um, you know, funk band from Ohio. Of course, you know, you got stuff like that in there. Uh, always had those kind of album covers. Uh, just a fun band, the Ohio Players. And now here's the last one. Uh, I wouldn't have normally got this, and I left, I left a price sticker on this one because I wanted to show you, okay? I paid a buck for this, and this was a record store day exclusive. I don't know if it's a year ago or two. I can't remember now. Originally, it was priced at $28. It's a picture disc of Olivia Newton-John of the physical album. Of course, I already have a really good copy of the physical. I, I had one before. Aaron Luther Alamere gave me even a better copy. And now I have the picture disc. I won't play this, uh, but I, you know, I wanted to have this. This might... It might go up on the wall or something in a frame. I just thought, wow, to have a picture disc, a record store day for just a buck. Couldn't pass it up. So that is my record vinyl finds, the cheap ass edition, and I'm drinking cheap ass beer to go with it. I want to thank everybody who watches these videos. I greatly appreciate it. I know there's a lot of other things you could be doing besides watching these videos. So I really appreciate that. And, uh, I'm Gary. This is Physical Format Rock and Roll. Till the next time, my friends. What did you buy? And I will see you down the road.